Welcome back to another episode of Argentina. So guys, as you guys can see, we are rapidly expanding a lot of stuff. We are first repaying back a lot of our loans that we took from, you know, to fight our good friends of Brazil because of a Chilean, Chilean war that was really not our fault. Okay, you guys entered the alliance with me, okay? You guys, okay, Chile, you guys are going to be my friends forever now because I'm tired of you guys being all weird. Okay, but anyways, we're having a little bit of difficulty right now breaking into that top 8 class because of Netherlands and Portugal because these two guys right here, they just basically just keep overshadowing us, which it's mostly because they have special events and because they, well, honestly, they just, they get special events. And, Bol and Bolivia is back alive again. They just really do not know what nation they want to be right now, and it is sad and funny to watch. But anyways, we are having really bad, insane difficulties grouping up into being that top class of people. Mostly because we got called into a lot of different wars we really did not want to fight. Yeah, thank you guys. Um, we're also keeping up with all this, that's good. Uh, but yeah. It's not, that's not, that's not really, that's really not good. I'm... To be honest, being called into these wars that we really are not ready to fight or really are not able to fight is really not good. I really don't want to continue this trend because it's really going to hurt us in the future. Let's see, pay back all this with with our good money. That should keep giving us more and more money. Um, the administration efficiency should jump us up to a lot. Okay. Basic chemistry should also help us out with population growth a little bit. So... Yeah, we're just we're just trying to live right now. We're just trying to live and we're trying to also gain to that little special group of soldiers. Let's see. The Confederates are sieging up just enough of America to make America feel worried, which is good. Mexico is sieging just enough to keep the Confederates alive. This is like the best combination ever. If Mexico and the Confederates could just keep a solid alliance on each other, oh my goodness, this could actually pay off. And let's see. Let's see, the war right now is definitely not going in the United States' favor. Um, I guess not because they're suffering. Yeah, they're suffering now. They haven't conquered anywhere near enough. Let's see, we have enough to do some more. Let's just keep paying back all that. There we go, got even more money. Yeah, we're just trying, we are just trying to, as a nation, just trying to recover all of our prestige loss and everything. I mean... We don't care too, too much about many, many stuff, but that's something we definitely do care about. Bolivia, let's see. How much population do you have? 200k. You're basically one region, and is there any reason to, reason to conquer you guys besides just, you know, you have a ma massive population? you have any strategic resource I'd want? No. Okay. Uh, Chile, I really will probably have to go to war with in the future because they kind of... They kind of do have a region I want, so kind of seems to be them. And let's see, we have more mo more of our monies being paid, more of our populations being uh, integrated. Yeah, this is this is becoming a good system that we're developing right now. Uh, stock exchanges, we can start getting stock exchanges. Those are actually pretty good for making money. Uh, late classical theories, organization. We just still need to go down a little bit more industrialization so that we can start getting a little bit more industrialization before we start worrying about that conquest of the desert and so let's see though we do have a little bit more of Argentina in Brazil land this is what we needed uh interesting hmm yeah limited limited citizenship is good if they want to become full citizenships I will allow it because I want to make sure everyone is really good two per state you ain't gonna get that from me <laughs> I'm not giving up the power the fact to choose the, the party I want when I want it. Okay? No sorry, Bob, am I giving up that. After, I've learned too many times in my games, when I give up that power, the AI just messes with me and destroys my economy. Okay? And let's see, now we got an acceptable amount of interest, which means as soon as we're done with all this, we can, once we start supporting everything again, this is all going to skyrocket. We can actually go back to, um... Maybe we can actually start taxing the middle class less. Which would be an insanely awesome idea to do because we've never been able to actually not tax the middle class that much. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Okay. And let's see. Pay back all this. There we go. 
get this, get this. Okay, we can't quite support that much, so let's support about 60. Get this down, get this back up. 80. I want to get this to administration good. 60, 1%, 10%. Let's, let's increase this about 50. I want to make sure this is at least about 50. We're about 50%. That's good. Okay, there we go. And let's see, how much did that drop us by? Eh, still have a good amount, amount of money. So, let's get all the way over there. Did that drop us? Let's oh, same amount. No, we're still good. Still a strong economy. Let's get to 91. Is that still strong economy? Yes, still strong economy. Go all the way. Still strong economy. Wow, we got... Our craft is just not going down, which is kind of weirding me out right now. Okay, so then... Has the day finally come where I can finally do really... Oh, we can finally support them fully right there. Oh, man, and then we can get more... We can get more reforms passed. Let's get less... Um, harassment would be nice so that the ruling party right now does not be able to stay in power. That'd be really awesome if they do. Okay, and let me please stop encouraging state capitalists because that's just wasting my time. Okay, and let's see. What region would be quite beneficial to start encouraging immigration? Actually, no region, because all of them really just need more factories. Oh, wow. Okay, expand gunpowder factory. Let's do that in La Pompta. Yeah, because it's actually a good region. Okay, and let's see. And Jule, and Jule. Would Jule actually be a good place to build a gunpowder factory? No. This is actually a good... This actually is a convenient fix right there. Okay. Choco, would that be good? I want to make sure I build factories that make sense. You don't want to just build willy-nilly factories anymore, especially at this point. Okay, doesn't seem like there's many willy-nilly factories. Um, so that basically means that all we just need to do is just encourage immigration... Not immigration, but encourage... Encourage our, our clergymen all across the board so that they start like well, actually uh, refute, uh, remove those two focuses get these two start encourage, encouraging bureaucrats in our colonies get those two up to state levels and then once those are two are up to state levels then we can start talking about other things but look at that our money situation is really good I mean we're making this much, and we have full maintenance now, which means in the first, <laughs> in the longest time ever since the beginning of this game, we can finally start lowering taxes. Hopefully. Shoot, no. Get back to about 75%, you slaves. Go, go. Oh my goodness. We were that close, though. We were that close. Argentina and Char. The type of democracy changes to democracy. Hold elections. Yay! It took us years to get that event, but who cares? Oh, good. Finally, we're democracy. We're expanding some factories. That's good. Uh, secularized. What are we mostly? I want to try to include... We're moralism. We're more moralistic than anything. Let's see. Um, You guys could survive, but you guys just need more people. Let's see. Jule, Rio de Vos. I don't know. Should I include some of these factories? Uh, is there any new regions? Let's see. Let's show some of our empty regions. Who's the highest empty region? Uh, Telempia. Or Tournament. Or Afro Paraguay. Those two regions, if they wanted something, I'd probably give it to them. But I don't want to... Like I said, I really just don't want to start building random regions right now. That would be terrible. That'd be a terrible idea. Orderly election, everyone! Orderly election! Oh, good, sir. Good, good. Okay. Let's try to increase this by, like, one point then. There we go. One point of this click. You have a little bit less taxes than last time. Once I start once I start getting into, like, the 200 range that I probably can go with, but it's right in the face. They've been beating me again and again. Why? Because I am a proud citizen who will speak out of the truth. I don't believe that the ruling party will save us, and any weapon is logic, but theirs is a stick. The issue of political harassment has been repeatedly raised in the current elections. This must stop. Uh, sure. This must stop. Because I, the political, it just gives me more stuff, which is going to be nice. State capitalism, yes. We are definitely state capitalists. 
I do not want to support anything that does not have to do with state capitalists. State capitalists are like the best. Pacifism, jingoism. Okay, we're jingoists through and through. Gerrymandering, let's get gerrymandering so we have more people that like gerrymandering. Alright, Prue, do you want to be friends? No. Wait, wait. I'm going to increase relationship with you guys so you guys actually like me. And then we can actually talk about being friends. Okay. And let's see. All G outputs. Let's get the steam engine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can get the steam engine just in time. And let's see. Residency. No, we can give them limited. Let's see. And it seems like our soldiers are slightly crumbling right now. So let's go right here. Because I really don't want to suffer any nutrition. And with all this extra money that we keep making, we could actually start, like, doing some stuff. Like, ports. And uh, I think the first thing, actually, we should do is probably get our... Let's get our railroads built. Because, yeah, we definitely need our railroads. Seriously. There we go. There we go. Yay! Industrialization! Look at that, everyone. Some industrialization. Yay! Alright, we encourage uh, causes belli increase until 1860. I'm not really doing any causes belli right now. Use warning so Yeah. I'm not really doing any causes belli right now, so that really doesn't help me. Okay, and then let's see. You guys down here. You guys become a state. Huzzah! And now I can get you guys out of here. And let's see, let's get back to encouraging bureaucrats. Oh, we encouraging bureaucrats or clergy? We're doing clergy right now. Clergy is about where I want it to be, but I'm still going to increase it anyways. And let's see. All these other places over here, they're just doing quite dandy. Strive for citizenship! Huzzah! Okay. Let's see, encourage bureaucrats. Not working quite well as I'd like. Non-secret ballots. Let's see, what's the biggest issue? Two per state. Oh my goodness, wow, you guys are really lobbying for that. I can't quite give that to you though. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna I'm not that nice of a dictator. That's kind of I do reserve some rights as a dictator, and that's one of my rights. <laughs> okay. But anyways though, I think the next conquest is gonna be the um this little I really wanted that iron resource over here that the that that the Brazilians had or Bolivians had I think this would be an awesome place to have if we use that conquer this and you know take it for ourselves that way we have another iron resource um to use I believe I believe who I'm gonna use to, to conquer them too is going to be uh, Peru so Peru would be an awesome nation to have because you know they're not too too bad but they're good enough to be a meat shield for when I have a random piece of... Okay. I'm gonna delete you. I don't know why you were just randomly there, soldier. A splendid idea, because I actually have the money for it. Whoa, ah, ah. That's good now. I actually do have the money for it, so I can actually afford things. Yes! My niche, my country is rich. Or becoming rich. Yay! Oh, man, that's good. We're becoming rich, and we're getting more stuff, and this becomes a state, too. Huzzah! So that means we now get all, we now have all of our regions, statehood, and let's see, let's get back to the top region, start encouraging clergymen, let's see, 2.14, okay, so what we want to do is we want to make sure that, like, every region is at least 2%, so, let's see, El Rios and Benos Reyes are two top regions, basically our two top regions, don't have enough have enough clergymen. Let's see, do we have enough bureaucrats? Not quite. So start switching from that to bureaucrats. Okay, and there we go. Let's see, I really want to get non-secret ballots. I really want to push these issues, but not many people want to push these issues with stinks. Urgh. Why don't you guys want to push these issues? Uh, we can lose that much now because we actually have enough to lose that much. Uh, expand the shoe factory, I agree. Uh, let's see. Hide. Hide unprofitable factories. Um, build a furniture factory in El Rios. Let's see, does El Rios actually produce... No, why do they keep producing terrible ideas? I'm not gonna support these. These are all terrible ideas. Choco. 
Chuckle, 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 chuckle. Wait, where is Chuckle, chuckle, chuckle? Chuckle. Um, but where is Chuckle? Oh, wait, Chuckle's this place. All right, what does it produce? Oh yeah, I just got it. Chuckle. Wait, this is not Chuckle. Where's Chuckle? There's Chaco. It's this region right here. Okay, Chaco would be really good for like, you know, foresty kind of lumber mill. Why? Actually, hmm. You know that if I could build that there, that'd be really awesome. But no, they want me to build a cigarette factory in Chaco. That's a terrible idea. Uh, the pump the. Could that actually support it? Yeah, I actually could. Let's just. You know what I'm gonna start doing is instead of actually building outwards, I'm just uh, I'm I'm just gonna build upwards because like I don't agree with most of these factory decisions, so I'm just going to like just like I just said, build outwards instead of inwards because I don't want to deal with all this like yeah, <laughs> it's kind of stupid just saying just saying. So let's see. And our bonuses are coming back to us, which are good. We are 8th in the world, everyone! We officially are Great Power! Okay, so that means we're going to be going into Great Powerness here very, very soon. That's really, really good. So that means we can start seriously looking at the La Plata decision. Let's see, La Plata on the Falkland Islands. Have Nationalism and Imperialism. I already got one of those. So all I will need to do is just gain nationalism and imperialism, and I basically have what I need. And I have enough taxes right now. Oh, my economy is about to collapse. So, not going to do that. Okay. But, I could actually decrease it by just a little bit. 71, 72, 72. There we go. Just a little bit less, so my people are getting better and better and better. That's what I want them to do. Just get a little bit more hyped up about stuff. Let's see. You know, let's just have unions because I do want to have unions so that they're at least state controlled. So I at least know about them. Okay, and let's see. 22%. And by the way, how much is our control over everything? Not very good. Not very good at all. Okay. So let's see though. We almost got we almost got as much bureaucrats as we needed from just improving our relationship. Juan Batista, Albert's book based for political organization of the Argentine Republic, first published in 1852, the year of lost defeat became the framework for the new Argentinian constitution. The Argentinian constitution that Booty crafted was modeled on that of the United States, of course. Because we're the ones who set everything. His ideas have merit. Of course it does. Okay, why would we deny a famous writer that apparently received international attention, you know, its merits? Seems kind of stupid on our parts. Because we should be bragging about it and be like, Yeah, he came from our country. Yeah. Okay. And this factory right here, I'm going to have to, can I build another factory in Katam Katamalia? Okay, I'm going to build a bronze artillery factory in Katamalia. We can extend the Sioux factory there. And I'm going to break the glass factory there. Because we really don't need it. It's honestly just costing us more now. Oh gosh. This economy is really on flimsy legs, like no tell. Let's go right there though, to increase there. So we got more people. Let's see. Non-secret ballots. There we go. So everyone knows. Everyone knows exactly what you're voting in my country. So you're like, hey, what are you voting? Oh, I'm voting this. And the United States still hasn't quite won against. Uh, it seems like now. Now they're starting to clean up the. Uh, because they lost against Mexico, they're now starting to clean up the Confederates pretty quickly. So I guess our dream of being bigger than the United States of A is now going to happen. By the way, how are we doing in immigration? 1,000. How much? How much is our country? 1,600. Wow, that isn't that much. We, we keep, we're having a bigger immigration than them, but still. I was hoping for a little bit more. <sighs> okay, all G output should skyrocket us. Yes. Okay. And let's see. We're going to need to get imperialism so we can start taking down a little bit quicker. And let's see, we don't want to do anything until our economy stabilizes because it could crash at any point and we don't want that to happen. Yes. Great statesman, oh my gosh, we just had a great leader happen to us, that was awesome. Okay, uh, let's see, 
Okay, I'm just gonna exp I'm just gonna expand these factories myself because I feel like it's cheaper that way. All right, and well, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for giving your time and effort to enjoy and like, comment, rate, whatever you want to do to this video. Hope you guys are enjoying this Let's Play as we slowly bring Argentina up to number eight status. We're soon gonna be a great power, guys. I can't wait till that happens. So, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.